Okay, the first thing we need to do when messing around with these these uh, compass or magnetometers is, like I say, we need to make sure that there is absolutely no ferrous material around it, whether, even the header pins or the wiring or anything, make sure it is not ferrous, in other words, it's not attracted to any kind of magnet. And even um, even any kind of screws in your in your mounting, you wanna make sure there is no no screws that are magnetic in any way um because they can definitely throw off your your readings so make sure that you don't use any screws or anything anywhere around here make sure you probably need to use zip ties or electrical tape or whatever else you need to use but uh keep anything metal away from these magnetometers and um you'll see that these magnetometers are all very i've got three different ones here i've, I've Experiment with just about every kind of magnetometer I, can, I could get um, Because I never uh, I was having problems making I was thinking there was something wrong with the magnetometers and it turns out It wasn't the magnetometers. It wasn't really the problem. It was it was the ferrous material So anyway, I've got quite a quite a selection of magnetometers. I got a whole bag full of them. So anyway um, But you can see that they're all labeled Pretty much the same thing you got uh, vcc which is your power you got ground gnd you got scl and sda and those are your your uh, data lines there so anyway uh if you might notice in some of my some of my videos that um i always almost always try to use red as a uh, vcc and um i can get a good picture of this here Usually red is VCC, uh, green is ground, and then yellow and blue are usually my my data lines. So anyway, I usually try to try to stick with that. It makes life simple. So anyway, what you're going to need here for this operation is just four wires, and you're going to need your magnetometer. And like I say, they're all designed. They're all pretty much designed the same way. There's very very little difference. Sometimes the positions of stuff would be a little bit different, but um, so we're gonna hook up our red to VCC, and we got our green is gonna be ground right here, and then we got um, yellow and blue are our are our data lines. I'm trying to remember now which one is which. I want to say see here SCL SCL is going to be yellow so that's where our yellow wire is going to go is SCL and then our blue wire is going to be SDA so that's how that wires up to that end of the magnetometer just like that All right. Next, we're going to be uh, attaching our compass to this this shaft here. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but I uh, actually got uh, the design for this. I 3D printed this thing. It's actually a modified version of a design that I saw on Thingiverse, I believe it was. And so, um, so, but you can you don't have to use you don't have to 3D print one if you don't want. Uh, you can use like wood, wood is fine, or um, any kind of piece of plastic tubing or something other, but somehow or another you need to um, attach uh, the, the compass and have it positioned in such a way that um, it's going to be pointing toward the front of the car, uh, pointing in the same direction and that it, it won't wobble around or anything. But anyway, it's a pretty simple operation. All, we, all we're going to do is wires, uh, wires through there. And uh, gonna get it, uh, gonna get it mounted, and then we'll attach the wires. Um, two of them are gonna go right here to our. Uh, there's, there's a power source right here uh, on our motor control module that we're gonna use, and there's gonna be um, some more go, go over here to the uh, Arduino board. So I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so we've got our magnetometer, our compass running right through here, and you can see this is just kind of a whole slot cut out and for these uh, wires and everything to go to, so it fits nice and flash, uh, flat. And so what we'll probably do is like run a piece of tape over this to 
secure it and hold it in place. And then next we just need to hook up our um, our uh, power leads right here, our uh, red and our green power leads, our VCC and our ground. And where they're gonna go is right here to our motor motor control board right here. See, see these little plus and minus signs right here? So we'll hook up our VCC to that, that plus and then our ground is gonna go to the negative sign right here. So anyway, I think you can see that. So that's all there is to it. And so now we got power supplied to our to our compass and now we just need to hook up our data lines. All right, so now we get our, our day lines. Now <laughs> I kind of screwed up because the uh, data lines I had they were both uh, female ends on it, and on the uh, on the power supply lines now they both have to be female ends. But on the data lines we need the other side to be um, male on one side and female on the other side. So anyway, so I made that correction there. So. Anyway, what we need to do is hook up our yellow wire. It's going to go to our SCL right here. Can you see that in pin number 21 right there? Can you see that number 21? And anyway, that's where that's going to be going to, is pin number 21. And then our blue wire is going to be going to pin number 20 right there. So. That's how we'll, we'll hook those up. All right, just like that. Okay, so now we got our uh, compass mounted up here. Um, got our wires run to our Arduino board. Got power supplied to it. And got a little bit of electrical tape on it, or a little bit of tape on here to hold the wires in place. I'll probably do something different with that. And so next, now we need to move on and mount our GPS module on here, okay? Okay, so here's our GPS module right here. Uh, like I said, this is a U-Box uh, Neo 6M. Now you might uh, could get uh, a different one, but um, this is the only one that I would say definitely sure that I've tested out. I've got this, this 6M module on all my robots. So anyway, I know it works. I think the 7M, I think there's a 7M, I think it, it'll work, but I have not tested it. So if you want to try it out, fine, but this is the only one I can say, I can guarantee you this one here will work. All right, and you, this is your uh, this is your GPS module. This is the new blocks Neo 6M Bluetooth mod, or um, I'm sorry, GPS module. And this here is a little antenna that comes with it. Yours may or may not have the antenna actually attached yet. It just snaps on right here. Uh, just be very gentle with it. Um, you got to kind of push a little hard, but anyway, just be careful that everything's lined up. And then also, you're going to need to um, install um, the header pins in here. Uh, they'll some of them actually give you the header pins with it, but uh, other cases you might actually have to uh, supply your own. So. You can, you know, solder the wires in yourself, but I would really suggest using the, the header pins to do it with. So anyway, what we'll do is we'll um, solder these in and then we'll hook everything up and we'll be right back. Okay, so not the best soldering job in the world, but anyway, it'll do. So anyway, now we got our pin solder on there and now we can just wire it up and should be good to go. Okay, um, our DuPont wires, we're going to need um, ones with the um, female end on one side and the male ends on the other side. And we'll just hook it up our kind of same deal, VCC, I'm going to use the red wire. You can use whatever color you want to, but I usually use red on for VCC on most all of my projects and then we're gonna need a green wire this will be our our ground it's, in this case it's on the opposite side there I'm sure you can see that see those 
those pins there. See if I can zoom in and get a little better view here. Uh, I think you can kind of see that a little bit. VCC is on the left, grounds on the right, and then we got an RX and a TX. So we'll hook up our ground wire. It's going to be green. And then our Okay guys, um, next we're going to be hooking up our uh, uh, data cables, our da data transmit, our uh, RX and TX, and our blue wire is going to go to the TX right here on our GPS, and then our yellow wire is going to go to RX, and they're going to look just like that. All right, and next we'll be making our connections up here. Our data lines will be going over here to our Arduino. Uh, the yellow yellow wire, which is the uh, mail in, is going to be going to pin number 16, which is the TX on the on the Arduino Mega. So it's going to go right there. And then our blue wire is going to be going to pin number 17, which is the RX on the Arduino Mega. So, just like that, right beside each other. So, that's how it looks. Pin 16 and 17. Okay, next we're going to be uh, wiring up our GPS module to the Arduino. We're going to be supplying the power to it. And as you can see right here, our Bluetooth module, uh, the power lead, the VCC right here is coming up and going right over here. And this, these two pins right here on the far end, these are 5 volts. So um, what we're going to do is plug our pin in right there, right next to the Bluetooth module. And then, of course, if you come right over here, you can see this is our uh, wire, our ground wire for our Bluetooth module. It's right over here, so we're just going to go right next to it and plug in our green wire right there into our into our ground right there. So now we've got our power supplied to our GPS module. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll get a zip tie and zip tie our GPS to the frame so it doesn't move all around. And that should be it as far as wiring everything up. We've got basically everything we need. Uh, we got our, got our compass up here, got our GPS, got our Bluetooth, got our motor control board, got the Arduino, and we got our robot base. And next we'll need to hook up some, some power to it. And like I was saying before, we can we can either hook it up to the um, to the motor control board right here, uh, which is probably the preferable way to do it. Is is hook it up here? You can see the one side is uh, is marked positive there. Let's see if we can zoom in there. See the one side has got an M, got a positive lead right there. So. That's where your positive side is going to go, and then we got our ground going to go in right here, and then we got a uh, jumper wire right here, and you'll need to, uh, um, I believe that is going to have to be there. So you can either power it through the the motor control board or not. So that's what that little jumper is, is for. So anyway, we'll um, go ahead and hook everything up as far as power leads go and everything. And we'll get back to you. All right.